Domestic Violence Awareness Month and last week's murder suicide in Barrytown is the latest in a number of domestic violence related homicides in the state. As NBC 5's uh, Zuri Hoffman tells us, awareness is needed now more than ever. From March through May, we saw nearly double the rate of domestic violence cases coming into our office that we would have anticipated to see. Washington County State's Attorney Roy Tebow says domestic violence is a real problem. His office typically sees about 10 domestic violence cases each month, but that number went up when the pandemic hit. Last week, a Berlin police officer allegedly shot and killed his former girlfriend before killing himself in Barrie. It's the latest of three domestic violence homicides in Washington County over the past four years. Some of the most difficult cases to detect are the ones that occur inside of households or in relationships that from the outside looking in appear to be healthy or or normal. Tebow says criminal justice is only half the equation when it comes to victim support. The other half involves community partners helping victims make the decision about coming forward and doing it safely. When people are staying at home more, that means that they're staying at home more with the people who are causing them harm. And that means that it can be harder to reach out for support. Skylar Wolf with the Pride Center of Vermont says that's why resources like their online chat center is so important to have, as well as awareness around all forms of domestic violence, including those that are non-intimate, like roommates and parents. It also helps people realize where it's occurring. It's something Skylar wants people to think about this Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Sometimes people don't realize that they're in a relationship or in a household that um, that's causing domestic violence. Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.